What's up, you tubulous eeks? Oh, coming at you here inside the bedroom with tons of shit going on. And since it's been quite a while since I posted a little vloggity poo, today is the perfect reason to update you guys on everything that's been going on. Lots of great changes in store, and holy crap, just updates out the yin yang. So, for starters, if you commented on the Alfred Audio speaker unboxing, today is the day we're going to be going through the comments and giving away 10 groups of stickers, all included with some Hannibal, Alfred Audio, Machete, and XS Power Accents. Really great little stickers here and they stick real good. Went to the store and picked up some 3M envelopes and then I just got to go to the post office for some stamps. So um, we're going to be picking those today. I already got like three or four comments already screenshot. I just got to go through the rest of them and then I'll go through and reply to each one of the comments. So let's go ahead and talk about some of the stuff that we're doing. Well guys, I think I got to go ahead and start the whole thing by saying we have officially sold the BC 3500Ds in box shipping around the the country and guys we are getting the 5500s hopefully hopefully we can reach for those 5500s if not the encore 4.5 k's because these guys are just look at that 3875 at one ohm so we definitely want to jump up uh to the next power class of some extreme output you know what i'm saying so that's going to be for the death bounce originally where the i'm excuse me the uh the encore 4.5 k i just misspoke is going to be for the death bounce which we already have completed guys i'll go ahead and throw up a tiny little teaser picture right now nothing crazy because I have the whole build process already underway in fact the video is probably around 20 minutes long so far so I'm still editing all that so once we get the Alfred audio death bounce out of there we're gonna go ahead and chuck the Hannibal in there and see what the difference in SPL results is uh, the box is already sounding pretty brutal but I haven't done anything uh, yet because I have no head unit which brings us right into the next one. Check it out, guys. My first Android Double Din from Gearbest. It's a Run Grace, kind of a... It's over there from China, but hell, everything's from China. And it's kind of a generic brand, but I've never heard of it. So I figured I'd give it a try. I love, you know, trying out new things. And I might even do a complete EXO-style review of this. I think it's Android 4.0 four or something like that i'm not 100 percent sure but we'll see what type of firmware it has oh and you're probably wondering why this epoxy is on there and how everything's extra bright right now well i'll throw up another picture i actually epoxied a little uh boot to my camera which now holds a light and thanks to lou dizzle we also have another light right there Thank you so much, Lou Dizzle, man. He actually sent that as a complete surprise. I had no idea it was even coming. Pretty damn cool. So I have a CN Lux 360 on top and then 160 right there. So SBN is going to be wild, which brings us to our next point right here. At SBN, I'm going to be bringing the SSA meter in full force with an extra cell phone so my battery doesn't die this time. Blah. So be on the lookout for that. I'm going to try to get an SPL reading of every single demo I get. This is the APM1 from Sound Solutions Audio. 100% accurate right up to the TL. We already mentioned the Hannibal. We're going to be doing some fun stuff with a music box and SPL box and the Atomic. Oh, let's talk about the Atomic. I love the basket. I'm probably going to rebuild my mezzo with this basket. Oh, but guys, I'm gonna have to tear this apart. The spiders are coming up, the surround's coming up. We got a little bit of coil rub, so I might as well just go ahead and rebuild her to a nice little monster. And then going further into this little update video, we have got underneath this, oh, I forgot to mention, I went and purchased fucking $8 nine volt batteries just for this meter. Check it out, guys. This is the Bluetooth speaker that I'm gonna be giving away in the next series of giveaways once this is over. I'm gonna be doing an, an announcement on this in the next video telling everybody's names directly because I have like four people already chosen and and don't worry I'm not choosing like all the longest comments I actually picked one who just said I want stickers so you don't have to fucking say a whole heartwarming something to win so once we finish this giveaway we're gonna start the new Bluetooth giveaway I'm just gonna give you a sneak little peek inside this is a waterproof unit well no 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 not waterproof I take that back IP66 which is like dust and water resistant so th there it is guys and I have to say this this is the loudest Bluetooth speaker I have ever heard, including over the Cloud Fox, the 9-volt Cloud Fox. I don't know how they did it. It's not the best sounding unit by far. It kind of sounds a little tinny and a little echoey, but it is the loudest. And I've never even tried the Blitzwolf, which is the one after this. This is the brushed aluminum speaker I also am going to be giving away. I can't tell if I'll do an Instagram giveaway or a uh, YouTube giveaway, but here's a little sneak peek. 
check that out from Blitzwolf over there. Good stuff. So that'll be um, the other little giveaway that, uh, that we're doing. Huge thanks to everyone who watches the videos and makes all this stuff possible. We wouldn't be able to do it without your viewership and your support by clicking the thumbs up, adding comments, and just engaging with these videos. It really makes a huge difference, guys. To use different difference, guys. So thank you so much. And um, going over here for SBN, check it out. I have got 15 batteries for SBN and Super Mario. <laughs> um, 15 batteries for SBN. These ones are fucking shit and they're not decoded so I'll never know when they die but these are decoded batteries. Extra little bucks but I sprang for that. I'm gonna bring the fisheye, Optica Baby Death. Get some extreme fisheye angles down at, uh, you know, for the dash. Getting some wall shots. And I went and removed the speakers from the car because we're gonna be doing lots of dust building builds and stuff like that so we don't want to get them all nasty. I'm going to throw up another couple pictures right here, just another couple teasers during this video. Um, I'm going to bring my Canon T3i down to spring break this year too, even though it's like really hard sometimes to use during the on the fly focusing, we're going to try our best to do that. And I guess while I'm right here I could update you guys on the home towers, everything is going real good. I just haven't really had the time to mess around with much and the fact that my ah, my, my Behringer cuts in and out, I have no idea. I may have to go inside, check some solder joints, but it just, it's been giving me so much grief that sometimes I don't even find it worth it to fucking turn it on and have it go kink, 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 kink. Just a quick little update on the towers, guys. I'll link the build video right here if you want to check out the build video. It's actually getting pretty popular. The whole fucking thing came together pretty good, guys. We also have the unboxing of the Forte coming right up. This is going to be pretty cool, but just hit me up on Facebook, guys. I got to get rid of these. Obviously, they didn't just give me all these all these sofas. Um, they're not mine, so I'll hook, I'll hook you up with a killer deal from the fucking man, Contralto himself. Ha <laughs> ha! So let's go ahead and run outside and go ahead and show you a quick little shot before the teardown because that's going to be a whole video in itself. I kind of just wanted to make a little relaxed kind of, you know, easy vibing uninstall of the amplifiers. So let's go ahead and run outside and take a look at what we have to do. Oh, oh, and guys, maybe, just maybe, I'll point the camera in the back of the trunk just a little bit because we have the 4.5K in the front and the death bounce in the back. So maybe I'll give you guys a little teaser. Shit. So I'll give you guys just a little look at that before we say goodbye to Frankie for the last, I'm not get by to Frankie, but you know what I'm saying. Oh fuck, I totally forgot I scored some fuck, a hundred, a hundred packages of Pennzoil um, garage wipes for fucking five bucks. It was amazing, I went down to the surplus store, this whole bag was five bucks, so my garage projects are gonna be nice and clean from now on. I'm not gonna do too much views back here because it's, it's kinda messy, it's fucking straight up SPL right now, but um, we got everything wired in. Uh, the RCAs weren't long enough, so I had to do some, I had to do some, you know, finicky shit. I had a jack right in there to bump up some of the, the bracing effect because the back deck was just going fucking nuts. But the 4.5K is awesome. We have an um, unboxing and installation video um, coming up, so stay tuned for that. We got the roundovers, the death bounce, and then the little octoport goodness. I'm not going to show you too, too much. I just wanted, just a little teaser, guys, just a little teaser. The trunk goes fucking nuts, and I have to mention this. I didn't, I, I, I was literally trying to build an SPL box that I thought was not even going to sound good on music at all but holy fuck guys like down to 28 hertz this thing sounds fucking crazy holy f I, I can't even believe it so i'm definitely going to be doing some low tune ports in addition to the sbl ports just to see what this bad bitch has got because he opens up i was very excited the first time i i uh, uh fired it up so let's go ahead and see what we've got to do today but it's not going to be in this video these amplifiers are coming out fellas let me go ahead and unlock on locker so we can finally take a look at the last 3500s in the back. Here she is, guys. Let's do this. Yeah. All right. There they are. The last shot of the 3500s. I still got some room for some extra toroids over here, some toroids and some caps for that extra little 2000 watts on the 5Ks. Fuck, yes. Just look at it. Mm. Mm, fuck. So it's very cold right now. It's about 20 degrees and Fahrenheit. So I've got to set my camera up, maybe grab some gloves and get these guys ripped out because we have them all sold. Every single one of them. So let's go ahead and shut her up. 
All right, and just to make all the people buying the amplifiers nice and feel good, I have got tons of foam. That is all foam that's gonna be packaged up inside the amplifiers, uh, making sure they're nice and safe for us, for you guys, just for you guys. So, all right, you guys, this is EXO signing out. I know this was a long update video, but I had a lot to say. So, um, the whole truck is gonna be looking a hell of a lot different, but I'm saving that for another video. So. Uh, thank you guys for watching the EXO videos. It, it really means a lot. All these years have just been gone so fast. So it, 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 every little bit means a lot. And I don't just say that. It really brings a smile to my face. So until the next video, guys, this is EXO signing out. <laughs>